Picture a city where buildings reach the sky, merging into a labyrinth organism that seems to defy the laws of space, a place where sunlight is a luxury, where every inch of ground is precious real estate. This isn't the future backdrop of a sci-fi movie, but a real place that once existed on Earth. Kowloon, Walled City. In today's video, we're looking deep into the stunning story of the most densely populated city that ever existed. So let's get it started. Step into a world where buildings merge into a solid organism, a place that defies the bounds of density and urban imagination. Welcome to Kowloon, Walled City. A microcosm of life packed into a space that boggles the mind. Imagine an area of just six and a half acres, about the size of four football fields. But within these cramped boundaries, a cityscape unfolds like no other. The towering labyrinth of Kowloon Walled City is an enigma that houses a multitude of lives, stories, and secrets. It's a fascinating blend of contradictions. A place where sunlight graces only outer apartments while a majority remains in shadowy depths. This is where churches and homes coexist with workshops, restaurants, and hidden quarters that beckon to those seeking refuge. Hold that thought and consider the contrast. The East Village in New York is bustling and compact, a microorganism itself, yet a far cry from the sheer intensity of the Kowloon Wall City. Even the most densely populated neighborhoods pale in comparison to this urban marvel. How did this enclave come into existence? It all began as a modest Chinese military outpost that evolved over a century into a remarkable urban center. The tides of history and trade propelled its growth, while China and Britain wrestled over opium, trade, and control. The walled city thrived, perched at the heart of it all. But it wasn't just history that shaped its density. It was the convergence of unique legal status, population influx, and a lack of governance that turned this enclave into something extraordinary. In the shadow of its walls, a unique microcosm emerged, defying conventions and carving out its own rules. Imagine streets that transform into shaded pathways, a cityscape built with unparalleled intensity where regulations take a back seat. Within the walled city's confines, the laws of Hong Kong didn't hold sway. Buildings rose without adherence to codes, and the result was a dizzying maze of structures that seemed to defy gravity. Vertical expansion was the name of the game, as single-story abodes transitioned into towering skyscrapers. Yet, amidst the chaos, a unique order emerged. The bustling microcosm harbored not just communities, but thriving businesses that catered to the needs beyond the reach of regulation. Dentists set up shops, factories hummed, and kitchens sizzled, despite unsanitary conditions. The walled city, for all its quirks, showcased the indomitable human spirit, resilient, resourceful, and adapting to the harshest of conditions. Of course, where there's life, there's also a darker side. Criminal groups found footing within this ambiguous legal space. The triads, infamous criminal organizations, exerted control, blending in with the vibrant tapestry of the city. During the hustle and bustle, they conducted illegal activities, from protection rackets to drug debts. As the world turned, the walled city faced an impending deadline. The 99-year lease that granted its unique status was drawn to a close. Negotiations, geopolitical dynamics, and considerations for public safety converged, leading to the decision that would forever change its fate. In 1993, the dismantling began, marking the poignant end of the microcosm that had defied norms for decades. The legacy of the Kowloon Walled City lives on. A tale of two perspectives. Some see it as a dystopian symbol, an inspiration for fictional narratives that explore crime-ridden landscapes. But that's only half the story. In the chaos and contradictions, the Walled City was also a vibrant community, a testament to the resilience of the residents. 
It housed dreams, nurtured families, and left an unforgettable mark on the cultural landscape. Today, a park stands on the footprint of this once mighty urban marvel. The remnants of its historic buildings whisper stories of a bygone era, while model pays homage to its towering legacy. It's a reminder that history is seldom black and white. It's a tapestry woven from the threads of human ingenuity, aspiration, and survival. The story of Kowloon Walled City is a window into a world that challenges our understanding of density, community, and human adaptability. It's a narrative that transcends time and space, inviting us to explore intersections of architecture, history, and culture. As the city fades into memory, its legacy remains, an enigmatic puzzle that sparks both imagination and reflection. Even in the present day, legacy of Kowloon Walled City refuses to fade into obscurity. This charming enclave has etched itself into popular culture, leaving an indelible mark that stretches beyond its physical existence. The influence is undeniable. In the dark wall, the neighborhood of Batman begins. The intrigue of Kowloon Walled City found its cinematic counterpart. And if you're a gamer, you might have traversed the virtual corridors in the video game of Call of Duty Black Ops, a testament to its enduring fascination. But the real story doesn't end with movies and games. It's alive in the lens of Greg Gerard and Ian Lambin, the photographers who captured the essence of this urban enigma. Their forthcoming book, City of Darkness Revisited, promises to offer fresh insight into their stunning photographs, rekindling the essence of a place that was so much more than just a slum. Speaking of the walled city, Gerard says, you don't want to romanticize a slum, you know, because it was that, but it was much more than that. It was an architectural marvel that defied the norms of planning, an unplanned wonder that showcased the unregulated beauty of urban existence. In a place where every nook and cranny had a purpose, where life found a way to thrive amidst the chaos. And this legacy lives on not just in art and literature, but in the very spirit of Hong Kong itself. From a vantage point like the peak, where you can gaze down upon the city's intricate tapestry, you might see an echo of the walled city's essence. The interplay of buildings, the, the way they connect and evolve. It's almost as if the organic chaos of the walled city has imprinted itself onto the soul of Hong Kong. Architect and urban planner Tan understands this connection deeply. He notes, many architects and urban planners like control, but people like to get lost in the city. It's a sentiment that rings true. The controlled precision of planned spaces is met with the longing for the unexpected, the ability to wander and discover. Tan incorporates this philosophy onto his work, letting accidents and surprises shape his designs, much like the evolution of the walled city itself. In the end, the walled city isn't just a relic of the past, it's also a source of inspiration that reverberates through culture, architecture, and the very way we experience cities. It reminds us that within the seemingly chaotic tapestry of urban life, there is a beauty that emerges from the unplanned, the unregulated, and the untamed. It's a legacy that continues to pulse through the heart of Hong Kong and beyond, reminding us that the most remarkable places are often the ones that defy convention. In conclusion, the very story of Kowloon Walled City is a fascinating journey through the depths of human adaptability, creativity, and resilience. This densely populated enclave, once shrouded in mystery, continues to captivate our imaginations long after its physical existence. From its intricate architecture to its vibrant community, the Walled City challenges our perception of what a city can be. As we look upon the towering skyscrapers of Hong Kong, we can still feel the pulse of the walled city. Its spirit lives on in the city's very DNA, reminding us that within chaos lies beauty and within the unplanned lies a kind of order. Ultimately, the legacy of Kowloon Walled City is, is evidence of the human ability to thrive even in the most challenging circumstances. It challenges us to see the extraordinary in the ordinary, the order in the chaos, and the potential for creativity in every corner of human life. As we continue to explore the dynamic interplay of humanity and architecture, 
May the tale of Kowloon Walled City inspire us to find beauty, inspiration, and innovation in the unlikeliest of places. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating stories from around the world. Thanks for watching.